I'm Joanne and now we're going to go on and make the eyes for our felt Easter Bunny. Now the eyes are made of three pieces. You have the, the backing of the eye with the beautiful eyelashes because this is for a little girl. Um, you've got the um, white of the eye and then you've got the pupil. So just those three pieces. Obviously you're going to do it twice for two eyes. And the other things you're going to need, the pattern, you're going to need your black and white felt if those are the colours you choose. I'm going to use two little Velcro circles to put on the back. You're going to need a little bit of that fusible webbing that I like to use. Some freezer paper to trace your patterns onto. And again, you'll need that firm interfacing. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace the pattern pieces onto freezer paper. Um, and I've already done that, so here they are. So I've got my two, oh, we'll turn this over so you can see them a bit better. So I've got my two sets of eyes all traced. What I'm going to do is now iron these onto the, my eyes are all cut out. And the next thing to do is place a little bit of fusible webbing, which I've done here, but under those pupils, iron them on and then stitch in black around the edge. Then I'll repeat that. I'll put fusible webbing under the white felt there and I'll stitch that uh, the white area with white. Right here are the cute wee eyes all stitched the pupils onto the whites, the whites onto the, the uh, backing of the eye there. What I now need to do and I've done is use that same pattern and ironed it onto that firm interfacing. Now I'm going to cut that out two millimeters smaller all the way around. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. It's just going to leave a very fine bit in the middle. It's certainly They're certainly going to need that little bit of extra strengthening in there. And once I've done that, I will then sandwich them with some fusible web under here and on this side onto black felt. Right, one eye is finished and um, I have to admit I forgot to put the uh, Velcro on the back and had to go through all the layers and um, a bit of a disaster so I've got a very ugly back unfortunately but that's just the way it is. Um, so now I'm going to repeat that process but so that I don't have to repeat that mistake I've already sewn my beautiful little Velcro dot onto the back and um, I'm actually quite pleased there's quite a bit of firmness as you can see in those eyelashes. So that actually makes for a very, very cute little bunny's eye. Both eyes are now finished. So they're looking quite cute. We'll place them on the bunny and see how they go. I think that's quite a cute little non-chocolate felt Easter bunny for my grandchildren for Easter. Thank you.